Now a story we guarantee most of you have never heard before. Big money is being made from the sale of fetal body parts. Even the most ardent pro-choice advocates, like Planned Parenthood President Gloria Felt, are disturbed by what we found. It seems inappropriate, totally inappropriate. Where there is wrongdoing, it should be prosecuted and should be brought to justice. A lot of people want to attack parts these days because they're looking for specific nodes. Maybe to destiny. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted lungs. I, uh -huh. um, and then, she, but like I said, always as many attack livers as possible. People just want yeah, livers. People want lower extremities too, which that's that's simple. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it because they want muscle. Yeah, a dime a dozen. I'm the medical director for the national office for all right. the affiliates. So I say, okay, what are your, what are you looking to supply today? We've been very good at getting hard, long, liver. Every provider has had patients who want to donate their tissue, and they absolutely want to accommodate them. They just want to do it in a way that is not perceived as this clinic is selling tissue, this clinic is making money off of this. Okay, so um, when when you are or the affiliate is determining what that what that is monetary. Yes, so that it doesn't raise raise any question of this is this is what it's about, this is the main thing. What what price range would you you know, I, I'm going to throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from thirty to a hundred dollars, depending on the facility and what's involved. The thirty to a hundred dollar price—that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. The thirty to a hundred dollar price—that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. How much of a difference can that actually make if you if you know what kind of oh, what's it, expected it, or what we need it versus? Makes, it makes a huge difference. I, I'd say a lot a lot of people want liver. Mm -hmm. And. For that reason, most providers will do this case under ultrasound guidance, mm -hmm. so they'll know where they're putting their forceps. Mm -hmm. Then a re-limiting step of the procedure is calvarium. Calvarium, the head is basically the biggest part. Most of the other stuff can come out intact. Right. It's very rare to have a patient that doesn't have enough dilation. To evacuate all the other to bring the function, to bring the body cavity out exactly. and tackle all that. Um, so then you just kind of cognizant of where you put your brassicas. Um, you try to intentionally go above and below the thorax so that you know we've been very good at getting parts long liver mm -hmm. because we know that. So I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below. I'm going to crush above, and I'm going to see that get out intact. And with the calvarium, in general. Some people will actually try to change the uh, presentation so that's not a vertex. So when it's a vertex presentation, you never have enough dilation in the beginning unless you have a real huge amount of dilation to deliver an intact calvarium. So if you do it starting from the breach presentation, there's dilation that happens as the case goes on, and often the last you can evacuate an intact calvarium. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there are certainly steps that can be taken. So they can to convert to, to breach, sure. for example, exactly. at the start of the exactly. Excellent. Under ultrasound guidance, they can just change the presentation. Under ultrasound guidance, they can just change the presentation. They can bring the body cavity out and all that. So if you do it starting from the breach presentation, there's dilation that happens as the case goes on, and often the last you can evacuate and talk about it.
federal abortion ban is a law, and laws are up to interpretation. So if I say on day one I do not intend to do this, what ultimately happens doesn't matter. So yesterday was a clinic day. For example, like what did you procure? <laughs> You know, I, I asked her at the beginning of the day what she wanted. Yesterday, she wanted, she's been at, a lot of people want attack cards these days because they're looking for specific nodes, A, B nodes, S, A. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted lungs. I, uh -huh. um, and then, she, but like I said, always as many attack livers as possible. People just want Yeah, livers. People want lower extremities right too, which that's, that's simple. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it. I guess they want muscle. Yeah, a dime a dozen. <laughs> You maintain enough of the dialogue to the person that's actually doing the procedures and they understand what the end game is. There are little things, changes they can make yeah. in their technique to increase your Even success. though they have a set way that they do it, they're open to changing it. Re the saying? reasonable people, sure. For example, so I had eight case cases yesterday. And I knew exactly what we needed, and I kind of looked at the list, and I said, all right, this 17-weeker has eight lambs, and this week. So I knew which were the cases that were probably more likely to yield what we needed, uh -huh. and I made my decisions according to that, too. So it's worth having a huddle at the beginning of the day, uh -huh. and that's what I do. Rather than having to deal with all the different affiliates, if there were a way to partner with PPFA directly to get some kind of like pre-clearance or something, so, we so that we have. To do this. Uh -huh. And at the national office, we have a litigation law department which just really doesn't want us to be the middle people for this issue right now. Because mm -hmm. um, we actually we were approached by Stem Express to do the same thing. Uh -huh. um, the, one of the Northern California affiliates said we're working with these people. We love it. We think every affiliate should work with them. And so we had a conversation and we said, you know, let's, what do you think? We'll just go out and find all the people that are doing this and present everybody with a menu. And, and they, at the end of the day, they just decided it's, right now it's too touchy an issue for us to be an official middleman. But that, like when you say right now, they see a future. Right now, the way the Supreme Court looks, I don't think it looks very good. Okay. If you talk to my litigation and law folks, anything that's going to go to the Supreme Court right now, we are all losers. But I will tell you that behind closed doors, these conversations are happening with the affiliates. Cecile, I want to thank you so much for Dr. Nuka Pola. She's been so helpful for the past couple years. I'm just with fetal tissue collection. I know a lot of you do it. Very, very helpful. Great. 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 Okay, great. Thank you. Woo! She's amazing. And thank you for Planned Parenthood. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here.